Mr. Carnegie, someone has said that courtesy is the cheapest yet the most profitable thing in the world. Where do you place this trait of personality, sir? Courtesy is the very next factor to be discussed. It is an essential part of an attractive personality. As to its cheapness, I will go a step further and say it is absolutely free. All it costs is the time required to express it in one's daily contact with others. Perhaps its very cheapness accounts for its scarcity, as it is a quality of personality so rare that when one comes upon it, one is quick to take note of the person expressing it. Well, Mr. Carnegie, just what is your definition of courtesy? My idea of courtesy is this. It is the habit of respecting other people's feelings under all circumstances, the habit of going out of one's way to help any less fortunate person whenever and wherever possible, and last, but by no means least, the habit of controlling selfishness in all its forms. Again, take notice of the definite relationship between courtesy and one's mental attitude. Courtesy is a medium with which one may project his influence to sources of opportunity he could not reach without it. And after courtesy, Mr. Carnegie, what comes next on the list of the essential elements of a pleasing personality? Next, I shall mention a pair of twin brothers. The first one is tone of voice. The spoken word is, by great odds, the medium through which one expresses his personality most often. Therefore, the tone of one's voice should be so thoroughly under control that it can be colored and modified so as to make it carry a meaning quite in addition to the mere words expressed for it does carry a separate meaning, whether one is conscious of this fact or not. The idea, therefore, is to so cultivate the voice that it can be used to convey the particular meaning desired. The man who has developed a 100% attractive personality knows how to convey, through the tone of his voice, every emotion he feels. He can express anger, fear, curiosity, contempt, doubt, affection, courage, sincerity, derision, anxiety, and a wide range of other feelings, Moreover, he makes it a habit to control his voice every time he speaks, for it is only through habit that one reaches perfection in the dramatization of speech. The price of perfection here, as is true in so many other things, is eternal practice. Every person who develops an attractive personality must study his own voice and place it under control so he can make it convey any feeling he desires. If no teacher of voice is at hand, one can become his own teacher by practicing before a mirror until he gains perfection. 